Let's go ahead and take a look at geometric constraints because we will be applying a lot of those to our designs as we move on. I have a new part open here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch, select any of these planes to work on, and begin by drawing some lines. I'll draw one line at an angle like this. I'll draw one coming straight up. And notice as I move the cursor left and right, there's a sweet spot where a little icon is appearing on the right hand side. That's a geometric constraint. I'll go ahead and select and place the line. I'll put a line here and maybe one more like this and I'll hit escape. Now let's try and move these lines around. If I move this line here, I can go ahead and move it any way that I like. If I move this line here, I can move it any way that I like as well. Also note that if I move this, I can move it any way that I like as well too. But when I come over here and I move it, notice this middle line here is always staying vertical. If I move this one, the same thing. When I move this one, it doesn't, neither one stays vertical. So what's happening here? Well, this line here has a constraint. It has to maintain vertical. I can go ahead and select this icon here and select the line and notice this icon appears again. That's the vertical constraint that we have applied. You can turn these on with F8 or F9. If I press F8 again, they will appear. If I go ahead and select it and hit delete, that will remove the constraint. And now I'm free to move it as I wish. If we ever need to bring constraints back again, I can go ahead and select it and apply the constraint. And now it's back to being vertical. If I hit F8, it appears again. I'll go ahead and delete these for now. Okay, let's draw a few more lines and see what we can do. I'll go ahead and create one line across. I'll create one straight down. Notice this time I don't have a vertical constraint. I'll go ahead and select and I'll hit escape. F8 to show the constraints. I have a horizontal constraint and I have a perpendicular one. So if you wanted to make sure this one stayed vertical, let's see what would happen. I'll select it, apply a vertical, and I get this warning here. It says adding this constraint will over constrain the sketch. So you don't want to have too many constraints that are redundant. It's already implied that this line here has to be vertical if this line is horizontal and this one has to be perpendicular. So if you want this to be actually vertical, I can go ahead and select this here. Once I deselect from trying to place the vertical constraint, I'll hit delete, select this line, apply the vertical constraint, and then I can hit F8 to show it again. So now I have a horizontal and a vertical constraint. You can use constraints with other objects too. I can create a circle here and create another circle here. And then I can go ahead and use this constraint here to make sure both of them are equal. Now whenever I select this circle and drag it out, both of them will remain the same size. Now let's look at this. If I create a line here and if I pull it down, place it and hit escape, what happens if I try and move this line? I can't move it. It's staying vertical. The circle is moving, which is okay, but I'm trying to move the line around the circle. Now let's see why it's not happening. If I hit F8, notice that I have this constraint here. I never created a vertical constraint, but what I created was a parallel constraint. This line and this line are being parallel to each other. So make sure that even though you were maybe trying or trying not to make a vertical constraint and you made sure you didn't have one, it could also be applying constraints to other geometry within your design. Let me go ahead and select that and hit delete. And let's look at what this is here. This is a tangent constraint. I can go ahead and grab this line and now I can swing it around and the line remains tangent, like so. Now you have a lot more constraints here to use. And remember to make sure to apply the correct constraints to your geometry so it fits your design intent. 